Have you looked around recently in the world and just thought, like, what's going on? Why is there so much chaos? Well, you know, a lot of people are doing the same thing. And I think there is a mass awakening going on in the world right now. It's quite easy to see there's a bit of proof, actually quite a lot of proof that it's happening. And really all of the evidence points really to just one thing. So in this video, I'm gonna explain what that is. I'll try and keep this short because I know you're probably on your phone or you're, you know, no one has that much time these days, it seems. So if you look around, the world is changing in every possible way, okay? That governments and systems are trying to claim as much power and control as they possibly can. Uh, almost like a desperate move where it kind of feels like they're at the end of their time and they're just lashing out with as much as they can because they have nothing else. This is their last move. And a lot of people really feel that quite strongly. Um, the question really is, what will that lead to? What, like, what's the next step in that chain of events, right? It's easy to see how that could lead to just pure chaos and, you know, collapse. But I don't really think it's that simple. I think it's more a case of one system crumbling down, making way for another system, which will come up and kind of replace and supersede that system. By the way, I do have a free video training. If you just click the link in the description, it should be the first one you see. It will explain how to raise your vibrations using my three-step process. It's very effective. If you've been feeling stuck, stressed, and you know, or even overthinking, you've been feeling anxious, I really think that will help you out. So like I said, you know, you've probably noticed that things like free speech, things that, you know, human rights, things we really kind of took for granted that were, I, ultimately they were fought over, you know, over the, over the course of a long period of time. These weren't just given to us, you know, they were claimed that we had to fight for these things. And now they seem to be being taken away or is seemingly taken away by the powers that be, you know, the structures and systems that seem to rule the world at the moment. But at the same time, there's a huge number, billions of, millions and billions of people who are just, uh, you know, defying this, waking up, re realizing that they have more power than they, than they were told, basically. And when you look at historical movements and events, it really seems that it only takes a small minority of people who hold a firm belief or who, you know, want to stand for something, let's say freedom or uh, sovereignty or something like that. It only takes a small percentage of the population who, who strongly believe that to actually change the majority's opinion. Because the majority of people, and you probably know this already, the majority of people don't have a firm, strong belief or uh, set of values. They sort of go wherever the crowd goes. They follow what's trending or they uh, do what they're told, basically. So they're kind of, although it seems like they're, you know, standing for one thing, it's really just that they stand for nothing. And then that's, that's how they're so easily manipulated and swayed into doing what a small minority, let's call them, you know, whatever you want, the elite or whatever, wants them to do. But it doesn't mean that that majority has that strong belief. It just means that they have no belief. They're not standing for anything as such. So they're just kind of being led. You know, they're just following wherever they're being led. But when you contrast that with the other side, let's say, the small minority, and, you know, it could be 1%, it could be 10%, it could even be 20% of the population who really believes in free speech, freedom, sovereignty, and uh, being conscious, basically they actually hold that belief very strongly and they're not really scared and they don't fear things like death or brain you know um like blackmail manipulation they don't fear these things because they realize that this life is a tiny part of a much bigger picture so they're much harder to control and like i said if you have a small minority in this case five or ten percent they can easily over the course of a period of time and that period is debatable right they can easily sway the opinion and the belief of the majority because, like I said, the majority are just going wherever they're led. They're not standing for something, they're just being led by a small minority. So really what you have is a majority of the population who just do whatever they're told, and then you have two small subsets, two small minorities, the elite leading people or trying to lead people in one direction, and the free uh, freedom-valuing minority on the other hand. So really there's only one way this can go, and that is that the freedom, you know, the people that value freedom will ultimately win. Because the natural human condition is freedom, it's sovereignty, it's, you know, being conscious and free. Nobody likes being oppressed and um, dictated to. 
at the soul level, like even people who just kind of do what they're told, at, when they're, you know, sitting in their houses, you know, alone, deep down, they know that it's wrong. Even if they don't admit that publicly because they're scared of, you know, debating or pe what people will think about them, they deep down know that it's wrong to have freedoms and rights taken away from them. So ultimately, there's only one way this can go. And yeah, in my opinion, and from all of the research and things that I've uh, looked at and collected, it seems to be going in that direction. But, and this is the big but, in order for that to happen, what is currently a state of reality, the systems, uh, beliefs, societal structures, kind of needs to dissolve in order for that new structure and that new reality to actually be created. You can't have them, well, I mean, technically you can have them both coexisting, but really it will just merge into that new system. And this can, on the outside, look like chaos. This is why you're seeing, you know, all kinds of um, protests on both sides, uh, dictating, people trying to force their beliefs on people. And yeah, it can look a bit chaotic on the outside, but really it's just, it's just how things work. It's just the progression of nature, basically. Anyway, so this is my opinion, of course. Uh, don't, you know, take this as uh, set in stone. And I'd love to hear what you think, so leave a comment. By the way, I do have a free kind of video training explaining how to raise your vibrations. If you've been over th overthinking or anxious about any of this stuff, I really believe this will help you um, because there really is no reason to be anxious or afraid. So th the video is, it should be like the first link in the description, you know, this like when you scroll down and you see, you can click show more, but it should actually be at the top. So yeah, let me know what you think. Leave a comment and I'll see you next time.